Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another pick a card reading. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Today we are going to be doing who is next for you in love. And let's just get right into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here. Today we're going to be seeing what's next for you in love. Please choose from group one, two, three or four and we'll just get started. So we have here, we have group one, we have opalite. I love this crystal, it's so, so pretty. It's just so gorgeous, I love it. So let's see what you have in love. So first we have passion, we have playfulness, and we have very soon. So someone is coming in very soon. They're gonna be passionate and they're gonna be playful. It's gonna be someone who you really enjoy their company. Someone is gonna be probably bring out your inner child as well which is really really nice we also have explore your options follow your dreams kindness oops and inner child which is literally what I was talking about it's going to bring out your inner child and we also have parenting and children so this could be somebody who you actually have children with um, or they can have children or you, they make you feel like a child, which is really, really nice, like a childlike energy, not like childish, but like a childlike energy, which is really, really lovely. And we also have the Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is so nice, I love that. And then we also have Rebirth is Assured, Bring Your Ideas to Life, and Freedom is Yours. So this is essentially a time where you're going to be going through a rebirth and you can actually meet this person when you're going through a rebirth or after you've gone through a rebirth. This is going to be somebody who is basically exploring their options as well as I feel like you're exploring your options. This is somebody who's going to come in really nicely, someone who is very financially stable or is basically working on their finances at the time of actually meeting you. You can also meet this person at work. And this is basically somebody who is well-travelled or loves to travel or is looking at travelling. You could also meet this person travelling. And it's going to be a person who's very kind to you, someone who you feel like is someone very kind. And you're going to be kind to yourself and your inner child. And this is going to be a time where you're really looking after yourself and you're going to be, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to have this inner power. And you're also going to explore your options. So there's definitely a, a certain element of options here because we've got these seven of cups and explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So basically, you can actually be with somebody when you meet this person. Obviously, you wouldn't cheat on them. Uh, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. So you might meet someone who's actually better. Or you could just be basically exploring your options while you're single and you are figuring out is this is the right person um maybe you go on a few dates before you meet this person like a few dates with different people uh i feel like i want to pull another romance angel card so let's see what else we've got so very soon this person you can meet very very soon also got codependency And we've also got calling in your soulmate and love yourself first. So as I say, this is the time when you're going to go for a rebirth. I actually feel like this is so, like this is right next to rebirth. So this is going to be a time where you are figuring out how you want to go about your actual, like working out your personality almost. I feel like you're all kind of shedding your old skin and you are going to be calling in your soulmate and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so this is definitely con like connected to codependency i'm getting the word conditioning as well so maybe you feel like you're being conditioned your whole life and now you're kind of letting go of that and this is going to be calling in a definite soulmate someone is definitely going to be coming in um let's see if we can see anything else about their personality please We have Be Fearless and Bold, Time to Collaborate, Let 
nothing is wasted and embrace the in-between. So basically the collabor time to collaborate is the relationship card. So you're definitely going to be meeting somebody very soon. I feel like you need to be fearless and bold in your decision making. Decide if this is the right person. I feel like intuitively you'll know. And the eyes with the badger are really like looking at me. So I feel like this person is going to have really nice eyes. Um, in terms of like star sign. Let's see what sort of stuff I'm getting. I'm getting Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, possibly Virgo, and there's another one that I can't think of, maybe Capricorn as well. We've also got Death, so you could also be connecting with a Scorpio. Five of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, this is going to be a time when you're going to be going through an intense period of your life and you're shedding your old skin and you're going to be meeting someone like really, really amazing. This person is also fearless and bold. They could also be a Leo as well. And it says, embrace the in between and nothing is wasted. So, basically, it's like nothing is wasted in this experience. It may be tough that you're going through right now or you could be going through it. It's like nothing is wasted. This experience is not wasted because it's embracing this in-between moment because at the end of the day, you're going to be finding someone who is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to pull a couple of life purpose cards as well. We've got so many cards going on, but I just want to be sure. We've also got protected. And study. So you could be meeting somebody at a college, uni or school. You could be studying something, you could be starting something new. Um, could be your actual life purpose and you are protected, you are safe and supported while you change your career. Reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So this is definitely somebody who is also changing their career. I feel like you could be also, but I feel like this person is coming in really, really nicely. They know what they want. And they're also going towards their life purpose. And I feel like both of you are actually going to meet once you have your life purpose in, like, you aligned, you're, you're aligned with your life purpose. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person also watches a lot of YouTube videos. And you could also be a YouTuber and they actually find you on YouTube. Because I feel like I'm looking at this computer, like, really intensely. Um, you could also be a blogger or they could be a blogger or some sort of something to do with the internet. Could also be even a photographer and they could have, or like a certain person have a website and you look at their website and you think, wow, this person's amazing. That sort of thing. They could even help you with making a website, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's quite random, but <laughs> hopefully that resonates. So hopefully this helps, guys. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the, all the links are down below. I have the picture here on the screen with all my information as to how to get hold of me. And also, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for your support. Honestly, it means the absolute world. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what you guys got in love. What's coming for you in love. And we also have the clear quartz here. So let's see what you guys have got coming in love. So from the romance deck, we have give your relationship a chance. Worth waiting for. So this could be somebody that you actually know already. Um, or this could be just be someone who you think is like a friend and then you think I'll never be with them like in a relationship like ill <laughs> but you could actually end up being in a relationship also I feel like you could also be waiting for so long that you're like I actually don't think I'm ever going to have a relationship but here's someone coming in and they're worth waiting for so it could be a little bit of a long a bit longer than you, what you expect but they're definitely worth waiting for so in terms of personality, we have you are never alone and think on your feet, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love this card because it's shaped like a heart and this is one of the relationship cards in the animal spirit deck. So this is a time when you are going to meet your soulmate. This soulmate is also someone who is very fiery and someone who's almost like a fox. So they're very kind of, they can be quite playful. They can be, um, I'm also thinking quite loud, maybe loud in the bedroom as well. <laughs> <laughs> is what I'm seeing. Um, also, think on your feet. So it could be somebody who's very, very intelligent, someone who likes maths, that sort of thing. Loves to, could also be a professor is what I'm seeing. So we also have positive energy and alchemy. Positive energy, positive any positive energy surround yourself with positive people and situation and avoid negativity alchemy you have the Midas touch right now and everything every project you begin turns to gold so I think you may be actually thinking about a new project 
And I think this is going to be a really good thing for you to do because it's also going to take your mind off actually thinking about a new person, but it's also going to bring you in alignment with this person also. And it's protecting your energy. I feel like you can you can easily be bombarded by negative energy. It's also letting go of toxic people because that's going to stop you from aligning with your true purpose and aligning with this person. So it's focusing on positive energy also to maybe use affirmations. And also I'm seeing um, synchronicities as well with this card. So there could be a lot of things around you that could be giving you ideas of when this person is coming in um and we also got the number four and two and two and seven so this could also be thing like numbers that you see when you meet this person we also got quiet time queen of cups and the page of pentacles this is really really nice i'm actually seeing that this basically i love that we've both got aligned with these two cards i didn't deliberately do that so we've got the page of pentacles with you on there alone never alone so basically i feel like this is a time you may feel a bit lonely and you're thinking this is never going to happen what i'm waiting for this is never going to happen and then this person's like here you go this is like an offering i feel like you could also meet this person at work um this could also be a work opportunity or you could kind of know this person from work or maybe an old work colleague that sort of thing um but basically there's going to be a lot of emotional energy here and I feel like once you've worked on yourself and you've become more aligned with who you are and how you want to how what sort of relationship you want then it's going to be amazing and basically I can see all these jewels and gold and everything like that and you're just going to be embracing all this love and all this love is going to surround you I think it's connected to the quiet time it's like basically making time for yourself and making sure you're not overdoing it um, and you're not kind of going over the top with kind of overthinking about is this person going to come, when they're going to come. It's like, just relax. It's going to be okay. They're worth waiting for. They are coming in. So we also have let go of control issues. I feel like this could be to do with um, the fact that you really want this person to come in. It's like almost blocking them. So it's letting go and it says it literally says allow this situation to unfold naturally so i definitely feel like this could be the sort of energy that you could be embodying i feel like this person could be working at an office as well don't know why that randomly just came in person could also be a gardener someone who likes um the outdoors so we also have playfulness and chemistry which is really nice i feel like this is actually to do with their job because i feel like it could be someone who really likes science and we also have forgiving and learning underneath the deck. So this is just definitely forgiving and learning from the past and moving on, that sort of thing. So I feel like we need to get a couple more animal spirit decks and then that will be done for group number two. So let's see what else you have. Let's just pull a couple more cards. Be here now. That is literally the energy that I was just saying. Um, sorry if you can hear a plane going overhead. Um, it's basically like being in the moment and making sure you are focusing on the moment now so we got nothing is wasted and embrace in between so I feel like that's what you're kind of going through at the moment you're kind of going through an in-between stage where you're like where the f is this person and they're telling me he is coming or she is coming they are on their way and nothing is wasted this this in between that you're going through at the moment is not wasted this is a time where you're connecting with I'm seeing this alignment I'm seeing like you and this person are on this path and you're just slowly like aligning with each other so this could also be a twin flame but I'm definitely feeling more of a soulmate and it's basically yeah be here now because it's all going to come into fruition so thank you so much for watching and if this resonates with you or this was helpful please uh, give me a like and subscribe and comment down below and i will also have private readings going on at the moment the information is here on the screen now so if you'd like to book one with me then feel free and i will see you all very very soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here um, as you can see <laughs> my natural blossom petals are getting a bit demolished <laughs> underneath my cards so yeah thank you for being here and let's see what you guys have in love i just noticed that this has got a chip in it that's so random but hmm, interesting uh yeah so let's see what you guys have coming for you next in love so we have separation and deception okay we'll clarify that in a minute Oh, and we also got one more. I didn't see that. Free yourself. Okay, so that's interesting. We'll see what else we've got. So we've got lay a solid foundation and believe in yourself. I've never got this squirrel card. That's so cute. Oh my God, that is so cute. And we also got the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles, Synchronicity 
and higher consciousness. So, basically what I'm thinking is, you guys are letting go of the past. You're separating from deception, from toxic people, you are letting go of the past, and now it's going to bring in a new person. For you guys, I feel like you, I can't see someone coming in yet, because I feel like you guys need to lay a solid foundation first for yourself, which is not really what you want to hear, but I feel like there's investment in yourself, I feel like you need to invest in yourself, and see yourself as a king and a queen, whatever gender you are, doesn't really matter, and also there's going to be a lot of synchronicities and, and um, telepathy with the person that is going to come in because I feel like you'll know when they're going to come in because you're going to have synchronicities and also it's just believing in yourself and investing in money and investing in time into yourself so we have separation your time apart from your partner is on the horizon so I definitely feel like this is to do with releasing an ex if you are still with somebody or you're on the verge of kind of leaving somebody and going forward I feel like definitely you're investing more in time into yourself or you need to invest more time into yourself. So what's the overall energy for group number three, please? For what's next for them in love? So we have the Nine of Swords and the Moon. So definitely there's a lot of underlying emotional energy here. I feel like there's a lot of residual crap. <laughs> but I'm seeing residual, residue, that sort of thing. Like undergrowth like I'm seeing like a mouldy kind of damp area and it's kind of it's like what you get underneath a, like a damp log in a wood like that and you have to like lift it up and then you've got like all this stuff underneath I feel like you guys need to lift away um your old energy and kind of get rid of it obviously easier said than done but I feel like this is actually to do with a previous relationship or previous friendships that you've had to deal with and it's just dealing with that emotional stress I feel like you could also be connecting with a Scorpio a Cancerian um a fire sign maybe an air sign also not really seeing much earth here but there could be an earth sign as well, but I feel like you guys need to lay a solid foundation for yourself first before you can actually see anybody coming in. So can we have more one more romance angel card? Because I feel like you guys are still working through before you can... It's like love yourself first before you love anyone else. That That's kind of the quote that I'm getting. I'm getting like self-love quotes coming in my head. Like I'm kind of browsing the hashtag self-love self -love quotes on Instagram kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I'm also getting the don't be so hard on yourself and like as a quote I'm also getting a neon sign like people have in their bedrooms or like urban outfits or something and it has like a quote um and it's like live long and prosper or like love yourself because you're a queen that sort of thing I'm getting like inspirational quotes it's kind of like I feel like you guys need a bit of a boost right now I feel like you're going for a bit of a dry patch which is completely fine because it just happens sometimes so we've got very soon there you go that's the clarification I feel like you guys need. Can we have one more card, please? I feel like you guys actually really need to hear that. And we also got to give your relationship a chance. So when this person comes in, please give it a chance if you feel like you're ready for it. And don't jump into anything that you're not ready for or it's too early because they will still be there, is what they're telling me. So, yeah, give this person a chance and clearly decide what you want to do. What, what you want. Oh, I need to say it again. <laughs> oh my god, my brain. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that is what it's saying and you're going to be working on this partnership when it comes in, which is absolutely amazing, gorgeous. I'm seeing some really nice energy coming in for you guys just very, very soon. So hold on in there. Uh, hold on in there, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonated with you, then please comment down below. Let me know. Um, I have private readings going on. I always do private readings, so they're the screen is right there just please look at my information if you would like to book a private reading i also i uh, would love if you would subscribe to my channel and i will see you all very soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's see what you guys have next for you in love so let's have a look at the romance angel cards first so we got soulmate gorgeous love that and we also got wedding wow amazing that is so nice and what I love about the fact, the fact we got some blossom here this is actually real blossom it's kind of getting demolished underneath my cards but I love the fact that we got blossom and um, around the wedding card which is just so nice I just I love that it just matches so well with the theme you know what I'm saying <laughs> matches so good with my aesthetic <laughs> so we got yeah we've got summer and wedding and let's see what else you guys got let the spirit be your guide turn knowledge into wisdom we also have the five of pentacles and the Queen of Swords, that's really nice. High Consciousness, Awakening Your True Self, and Father Healing. 
Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. So I feel like you guys um, don't really have a very good relationship with your dad or you're kind of healing that relationship or you could just be dealing with some residual energy that's to do with your past and to do with your childhood. Um, anything to do with your father if you are a woman I feel like this is definitely that sort of energy because that that sort of relationship you have with your dad can impact what you have in your actual relationships always normally on a subconscious level so I feel like you're dealing with that I feel like this is connected to this as well it's dealing with past hurt and moving through and you guys are going to come out as a queen of swords which is really really nice there's definitely going to be somebody coming in who's a soulmate someone who is of higher consciousness someone who is very spiritual i feel like if not then they, you could be feeling them as they're coming in you're going to be awakening your true self to this person as well because you're going to let spirit be your guide through this process and you're going to be coming more into your spiritual power i feel like a lot of you are actually going to be waking up to your um almost healing as well i feel like a lot of you are healers some some of you work with crystals as well or herbs that sort of thing i feel like you could be meeting really spiritual people as well like a really spiritual partner um and you've also got turn knowledge into wisdom as well so it, as i say it's gonna you're gonna be going through a little bit of a process but it's, it's all gonna come out as a really nice gorgeous queen of swords moment and then this person could also be the queen of swords as well someone who's very i wouldn't say independent but independent on their own so there's no codependency sort of thing someone who's going to be really really nice i feel like i've got the number five as well so that could relate to synchronicity and we also have 505 on the clock which is so funny oh my god i literally just looked at that that is so funny uh thank you universe for that sign that is that is great um can we have the card for the overall energy for group number four please i feel like you guys have actually got this person coming in really quickly i feel like you might not know who they are they're going to be someone really new we got the two of wands so it's just kind of maybe you're going to meet this person traveling i feel like you're kind of still discovering who you are but it's also this person's going to be really amazing and you two are going to be going along really, really well together. Um, I feel like this person could also love travelling. But basically, it's like you're looking out and kind of seeing where this person is. And you're kind of letting spirit and the universe guide you to this person. So I'm just seeing what else we have here. Okay, so we've got a lot of cups energy, so it's definitely dealing with emotional hurt. I feel like this could be to do with the present. I don't think this is going to be when you're actually going to meet this person. I feel like also this person could be going through a bit of traumatic experience um, because we've got the six of cups and the five of cups. And they're basically looking down at the three cups that are kind of spill and not the two cups that are behind them. So this could be you or this could be this person right now going through a bit of a change. But we have the Queen of Pentacles underneath. So there's definitely a growth kind of going through. And this person is going to celebrate both. You're both going to celebrate both of your growths together. And it's all going to be absolutely amazing. Just fell on the floor. We got Act As If. So I feel like act as if this person is here as well, as in like use the law of attraction if you're not already using it. And they're also going to love you for who you are. And they're also going to be someone who's quite funky, like someone quite cool, a bit edgy, maybe have a motorbike or that sort of thing. Someone maybe in a band. <clears throat> and I feel like you are weaving your web right now. You're figuring out what you want out of life and how to make your dreams a reality. Someone who's also going to be very loyal and also we have a little bit of sometimes we've got this we've got sometimes life stinks so as i say it's could be some there's some residual energy we've got here i'm not sure what it is but i feel like it could be to do with um maybe a little bit of conflict i feel like a bit of unresolved emotional energy so just be conscious of that but i don't feel like it's going to be much of a big deal because i feel like you're going to work through this and this spider i just realized is, is wearing a crown so it's definitely like you're the you're the creator of your own reality and sometimes it may not feel like it but you definitely are. You're definitely the creator of your own reality. And you are an amazing person. And I feel like this person is just going to come in when you least expect it. To be fair. like <laughs> Let's pull out one more Romance Angel card as well, please. Please, please, please. Also, wasps are quite annoying. They're almost like flies. They're like buzzing around. And you kind of want to just like get them out of your room you never want to keep them in your house so i feel like this could be a definite emotional energy that you're kind of not really aware of and because it's been there for quite a long time it's almost like buzzing around your head and it's becoming more of a conscious thing and i feel like you're going to start to let go of that 
I feel like your soulmate may bring this out in you as well, but it's going to be all good because you're going to, I feel like you're going to be conscious of it and you're going to let go. Three cards. Okay, so my camera's going to die soon, so let's quickly go through these. So we've got heart to heart conversations, it's safe to love and release your ex. So this, all this emotional energy could actually be to do with your ex and releasing them, but it's safe for you to love. Also, this person could be releasing their ex and you're going to have heart to heart conversations, which is really, really nice. And just making sure that you feel safe in this relationship is, it's, it's um, analyzing your emotions, how you feel around them. If you feel safe, then that's amazing. It's also working on your safety and your inner confidence. So thank you for watching. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel down below. Also comment if this resonated with you and has helped. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you would like, if you like this video. And also I do personal readings. So all the information is right here on the screen and down below in the description box. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.